Well, good morning, everybody. I'm going to take these last couple days of sunshine and get a couple small things done. Uh, pull in if we have to, and then tack these side sheets to these cross members here. Ouch! Damn it. Um, and we'll do that with the magnet. Won't take much. Just want to pull those in tight and tack them in place so there's no gaps. Or as little gaps as possible. I'll also go around and get as many of these welds as I can finished. Um, but we'll start with the top and get the top seam done. I don't know how good this will work. I'm sure it will help at least a little bit, but I got a big old gallon of WD-40, which is like 33 bucks, holy moly. But that is a lot of WD. That should be enough to at least spray down the top of the roof with a spray bottle. Picked up a new spray bottle for the WD. And some cheap funnels from Winco, like three bucks, two dollars and something maybe. And I got a tarp because the uh, the big one's got holes in it. So I'll put this one up first and then put up the big tarp just to make sure we don't have any water getting through to the top of the roof. This piece of 16 gauge has been sitting out here for over 10 years right out in the weather and that's as bad as that looks that's i'm not too worried about the rust that's still a solid piece of metal i don't want it that rusty though that will be a lot of work to clean so i'll keep the metal as nice as possible but yeah after seeing that i don't think i have too much to worry about for just one winter i think i will also go ahead and cut a panel for that and I wasn't going to, but I think I'll go ahead and put a bar across there. I wanted to save the top spacing for the door jam because I can't come down too far. Let's see if I come down. I need to come down a couple inches at least so I can mount clearance lights. So I think I'll go ahead and put a bar there. Um, I'll give that some stability. It's a pretty open gap right here in the middle of the body. Go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and brace that up. And then I'm going to fix that corner piece. All right, that's the plan. We'll use our last sunny day. It'll be 78 degrees today, which is nuts because it's like October 19th right now. Uh, to get the little bit of welding done, pull those panels in, do a couple pieces. Uh, tomorrow will also be dry, but it's going to be overcast and cold. It will be some proper October weather. Boy, somebody said uh, a couple videos ago in the comments that they were praying for good weather for the, to get this project done. And boy, we sure got it. The summer turned out great. I was really disappointed by the late start. I got all the sun I needed to get my... RV reskinned, and that was my goal. Let's get to this point, and that's that's awesome. Just found out you can't weld near magnets. It starts acting like there's no uh, shielding gas. It starts welding real funky. Makes sense. Just never ran into that situation before. 
uh, happened on the outside too, like really bad. I couldn't couldn't figure out at first what the heck was going on. And I realized my welds were acting weird whenever I was next to this thing. So got to move this around a little bit to when I'm welding. Let's see if this worked. Mm, nope, that's looking good. Sweet. I'll just stick with the tacks, I think. I'm doing uh, double thick on the tacks. Instead of trying to stitch that, I don't think it's really necessary. Okay, I was using this piece of steel on the outside so the magnet had something to grip onto. And when I took the magnet off, I forgot it was this piece of steel was on the back here. So when I disengaged the magnet, the thing dropped and landed right on my freaking toe. I was trying to ignore it, but now my foot is feeling kind of wet in that boot. I'm worried I'm bleeding. <sighs> I broke my toe. Feels broken. Stinging really bad anyway. Hopefully it's just sweaty. Or... Sweaty, but again. Didn't cut through the sock. Oh, that thing definitely feels broken. Okay, I don't see any blood. I need to remind myself to get some steel toe boots. Sucks. I like these boots. My only a good pair of shoes right now. My only a good pair of boots right now. Oh, well, it can't be too broken. I managed to put the boot back on. Oh boy, I could barely walk on it though. Damn it. All right, got these sheets tacked on, sturdied up. Put some nice fat tacks on there. I'm not gonna worry anymore. Not gonna worry about stitching it. I'll just go with that. It looks pretty good. Warped things a little bit, but nothing, nothing that's too noticeable. Looks good. Oh, my foot is still hurting pretty good, but it's a lot better. If it's broken, it wasn't too bad. All right, we got that upper beam in there. It'll give a little more support in that middle section and uh, give me a place to mount those clearance lights. It's gonna make the door a bit shorter than I want it to be though. I can, I can walk through just as it is, but the door jam's gonna... So, I'll have to duck a little bit to get in here. The main thing I wanted with the door size was was to have it big enough so I can get a bed in and out or the refrigerator, cabinets, whatever. So, that'll still give me plenty of room. Okay, we're gonna skip on these panels. That could be done later. 
when summer when the wet warm weather comes back I think I want to get on to welding up these seams at least go along the top and get all the top seams um, anyway I'll see what I come up with here I'd like to get I think I'd like to get these seams all welded up Oh boy, that toe does not look good. Hoping that's just swelling. Oh my lord. I haven't had an injury that bad in a while. Right. Finally. Done with the welding. Long day. But it is done. And the sheets did not turn out too bad. A little wobbly, of course, but a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Some places turned out kind of funky, like on this sheet where the panels are too far apart. I had to do two beads. Most of them I was able to do one bead. It just looked a whole lot better. Oh, and so I tried filling in between the beads, and I'll just save that for next summer. A few months from now, four months from now, a few months, I don't know. Next dry season, next dry spell we get. Holy crap, that feels good to get all the welding done. I'll do these, I'll fill these panels in later. I'm not even gonna worry about that right now. I just wanted to get the uh, majority of the welding done. And then uh, now all we have is just a few smaller things to do. Awesome, that feels good. I am uh, so burnt out right now. My toe's feeling better. It looks bad. Oh, actually, my shin hurts way worse than that did. I kept at least twice really hard. I banged my shin on this while I was stepping down here because I forgot to lift my leg over it. I shinned myself twice. Oh, and it just hurts so freaking bad right now. I'm finally done. Now I just gotta spray it down in WD. At least the roof. Um, I don't know how much that'll help, but I figure it'll do something. It just burns holes right through it. My arm is all blistered up and got little sunburn spots. I need to make sure to get me some leather arm sleeves. I was kind of thinking this would... I don't know, it said fire-resistant cotton on it. I figured it would at least not let the slag burn through. Finally wash it. Let me grab these tanks and see how well those fit in there. Put the floor in first. Uh, I need to get it started up first. I need to, that's the next thing I think. Most important thing after getting it sprayed tarped up at some point we got to get that thing get this thing running freshen up the uh get some fresh fuel in that line i got some fuel treatment in there so i need to get that fuel flowing 
These gloves don't last too good. This is just from the grinder. For me grinding. Cheap gloves, I'll have to get some better ones. And random dog just walked by. Just sniffing around. Oh my lord, I am going to sleep so good. Oh, and I want to burnt the crap out of my leg. Yeah, just. Oh, is I getting a blister? Yeah, it feels like it. Oh, that hurts. It's raw. I burnt it on that. This bar, I forgot it was hot. Oh boy, broken bones. Bloody. Bruised. This was my goal. Let's get it reskinned. By the time winter came. That's looking kind of warpy. Really, just it still looks okay though. I mean, it's such a large. Oh boy, what a mess I got to clean up all these tools. This was kind of my staging area for leaving stuff out and easily accessing stuff I needed. Squares and straight edges, angle finders, air tools. Oh yeah, I still need to fix that. I can do that during the winter. And finish grinding the tacks on the front cap and uh, straighten that out a little bit. Still oh, lots of little projects to do, but... Uh, we can we can take our time now. All right, WD in the spray bottle. That'll be handy for a whole lot of other things too. Sure got slippery. Gotta be careful. All right, oiled up, double tarped. We are ready for some rain. And I'm ready for a break.
Well, the rain's back. It was morning the next day. Had about an hour before the rain got here, but we pretty, pretty much ran right out of time. Had just enough time to get the everything done that I wanted. Turned out pretty good. All right, we got some reviews to do, and then uh, we'll get this thing started up here soon, soon as possible.